Where is everyone? I have to do by myself? Very lonely in this kitchen. Welcome to Handle It. Wait, what do we do here? Oh yeah, we teach you how to cook. I'm cousin Dave, universal cousin. That means that I am your cousin. Today it's just you and me in the kitchen, alone, cooking like friends. Today we're gonna make cheeseburger raviolis, which sounds about as delicious as you would think. It's essentially all your favorite cheeseburger stuff put inside of a ravioli. We're gonna make noodles, we're gonna make cheeseburgers, we're gonna make them We're gonna make the raviolis jerk off. Welcome to the show. Also, this thing, my favorite thing, with all these pieces, it's back. Head on down to shop.epicmealtime.com, get yourself a cooking arsenal, or don't, go yourself. Can you flash up some ingredients for you? Some tools, some ingredients? Let's make some bacon cheeseburger raviolis. Ready? First step, take your big old pot, and we're gonna cook some meat. Hello? We're gonna grab this beef here and we're going to brown it. Throw it inside there. Up, 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 up. Ground beef's browning. Now I'm gonna slice some bacon. We're just gonna chop this bacon up into little bits. You know this move. We're gonna fry it until it's nice and crispy. Crisp the bacon, crisps the beefs, and then you're gonna have a cheeseburger. And while you're waiting, think of all the good times you had with your friends in the kitchen. My meat is brown. Using my slotted spoon, I'm going to put it into a bowl. You see that you gotta let all that water drip out as soon as it's dripped enough. There you go, oh yeah. You could take all your f***ing sludge, your, your ground beef sludge, and you could put it in the garbage. Like that. Right now these are at a two or a three on the Josh Elkin scale of bacon cookedness. Not even close. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. You know, if I had a friend in the kitchen with me, this would be a whole lot easier but I'm alone. Now that you cleaned out this pot, you got all your ah. grease and shit ah. out of here. Fill it up halfway with water because we need to boil the water. So I'm going to take again with the slotted spoon, let all this goodness drip, and then drop it into the bowl with my ground ah. beef. Ah. Cooking. We're gonna dump out all this here grease. That's cooking. Turn the burner down to low. Put your pan back on. We got our cheese, we've got our meats. We're gonna put them back onto the clean pan, like so. Ooh, it's back! Water's boiling, bacon cheeseburger mixture complete. Now it's time to make some ah. ravioli dough, AKA noodle. <laughs> Take yourself uh, your two eggs, crack them into a big bowl. Beat them, yeah, that's pretty good. And then you got yourself some water, some oil, and a little bit of salt. You wanna add, <laughs> you wanna add these to the egg. Water. My salt, I'm gonna do this so I get the salt in for sure. Get that last bit of oil that I f***ed up. Now, three cups of flour is what the recipe calls for. You're gonna add them one at a time and you're going to continuously mix. Now, if I had a friend in the kitchen with me, I can have him mix it, but I don't, so I'll do it myself. Mix the flour and stir while mixing. Do you see? How's my water doing? Oh, it's boiling, great, we're ready for noodles. Once you have your third cup of flour, now is where you tell your fork to f*** off. Thank you. And add the last one with your fingers. Yeah. So take this entire bowl and just turn it over, like so. The flour's gonna fall down. All of the noodles are gonna fall down. <laughs> and now we've gotta do this. Turn it over on top of itself. And you do this essentially until all the pieces get off, fall off your fingers and until all the flour disappears. Very important, before we roll out this dough, we sprinkle a little bit of this ah. down and then we take, obviously, a whiskey bottle, a little bit on our fingertips, just, there's nothing wrong with it. Just love it. And then, once you have it nice, and dusty, go ahead and roll the shit out of this. Hey everybody, welcome to Handle It. I'm Cousin Dave, AKA Rolly Noodleman. You need noodles at your bar mitzvah? These are nice noodles. Yeah. All right. Use your measuring cup and cut out some circles. And you wanna kinda plan out your circles cause you need to maximize all of this dough. Otherwise you're gonna f***ing waste dough and you're not gonna make enough noodles and that's just stupid. You just make yourself look like a f***ing idiot if you do that, right? Uh, Dave, you could re-roll it. No, 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 you can't re-roll it. You're going to re-knead it. Re-flour, re-roll, re-knead, and this stuff is totally usable. It's not garbage. You throw it in the garbage, you're f***ing And then you sweat more. Ready to sweat, Dave? 
And now it's time. So back to your <laughs> cheesy bacon cheeseburger mixture. We're gonna take some noodles like so. This is the best. <laughs> I am excited about this. A little spoonful of bacon cheeseburger mixture. Drop it onto your ravioli. Take the noodle. The dough is very elasticy, so it stretches over no problem. And then once you've folded it like this, take yourself a fork and you crimp the edges. That's what gives it that true, authentic ravioli look. Holy f ah. have you ever seen something like that? There we go. Yes, I ah. Now, do it a thousand more times. Maybe some of you are thinking this isn't a ravioli, because it's a half circle. Well, f ah. you, because ravioli is Norwegian for pocket of pasta. Pfft, bet you didn't know that. The Samoans invented it. Now that we've ah. sweat and bled in the kitchen, we have all these little delicious raviolis. What you wanna do is just take them with your fingers and you wanna drop them into your boiling hot water. They're gonna sink all the way to the bottom of your hot water. Don't be afraid, they're gonna survive. They don't breathe air. You know they're done when they float to the top, that's it. Slotted spoon is key here because that's what's gonna let all the water drip to the bottom when your ah. noodles are done. Because it's fresh pasta, it's like three to four minutes, but if you're not sure, you don't have a watch, you don't have a clock, um, you don't understand time when the noodles float to the top of the water, they're done. That's a nice ah. thing in noodles. Once you're done cooking all your noodles, you could dress these things with whatever you'd like. I'm gonna choose my favorite tomato sauce, but that's just me. You could use ketchup, you could use mayonnaise, because it's cheeseburgers, but whatever the ah. you want. You want relish? I mean, you're a creep if you eat, them with a, eat a big bowl of pasta with relish, but you could. It's your life, you could live it however you'd like. There you go. Bacon cheeseburger raviolis. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Handle It. I hope you learned something. If you didn't learn anything, go back to the beginning of the video. Look at all of the ingredients again. Maybe this time stop and actually look at the steps, which are right here. We're gonna freeze, pause for the steps. If you're having troubles accomplishing your mission in the kitchen, do not forget to get the Epic Mealtime cooking arsenal. Shop.epicmealtime.com, it's like right here. You can see it right around here. Go buy it, it's on sale. It's a good ah. cooking kit. Like, favorite, subscribe, share, tell all your friends, tell your whole family. I'm Cousin Dave, AKA Rolly Noodleman. Thank you for watching Handle It and tune in next week for more recipes. And awesome. Go away, I wanna eat.